Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel! Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. I am Arab Arapan. I upload videos about me, my personal life, and about jigsaw puzzles every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Philippine Standard Time. So if you are into that, I highly recommend to click that subscribe button down below because we'll see each other every Tuesday. Okay, for today's video, I'm just gonna do a review about Bits and Pieces Jigsaw Puzzles. And this is actually my first time doing Bits and Pieces. Actually, this is my first time doing a quality brand Jigsaw Puzzles. And this is also my first time doing a pre-love Jigsaw Puzzle. So if you remember from my previous vlog, I show you a pre-love Jigsaw Puzzle. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Also, this is also actually my first time doing a 750 pieces jigsaw puzzles so yes i've been doing 1000 pieces and 500 pieces but this is actually my first time doing 750 pieces jigsaw puzzles so yes um so while doing a review about bits and pieces i'm also going to share to you guys my thoughts about pre-love jigsaw puzzles is it safe you know um is it do i recommend it do i suggest it um so i'm gonna talk about that too so yeah let's do this video so guys before we proceed with my actual review for bits and pieces i would just like to share to you guys some of my thoughts about pre-love jigsaw puzzles um of course it goes just like anything pre-love it always goes without saying that you know your experience and my experience may, may not be the same it is really you know case by case so this the things that i'm going to tell you guys is just based on my experience about pre-love jigsaw puzzles so in my case the puzzle doesn't came with a box, which most of you might find it a very big issue. It might be a deal breaker, but for me it wasn't really really a deal breaker. It was a bummer, but it wasn't a deal breaker. Besides, the seller was pretty honest about it. Um, she disclosed the information about the puzzles, not having a box before selling the jigsaw puzzles. So I asked her wh why, what happened, or where is the box. She was. You no, know, she was just pretty honest about it and she said that, that she intended the jigsaw puzzles not to be boxed. I mean like during the import she said that she could save some space if the puzzles was to be imported without a box. But actually I was surprised because when the jigsaw puzzles came, it actually has a box but it was folded. So it looks like this. This is the box and it was folded like this. So yeah, it came it came like this, which for me I actually think it was pretty smart for of her. To fold the box and the jigsaw puzzles come in this ziplock which is very durable so it was fine for me also when buying a pre-love jigsaw puzzles or just anything pre-love items you should always there are a lot of things you need to do, consider first you should always verify and check the seller you have to go to her profile and look for reviews if she or he have the a reviews and then just check on her profile if you know it looks tr trustworthy reliable so you won't get scammed next next would be you should always ask for the condition of the item like in this case for the puzzle I asked if are some pieces missing or you know you could even ask for pictures you know just for a proof that the item is in good condition also you should also consider the price you know um is it is the price not too expensive is the price not too cheap because when it's too cheap and when it's good too good to be true it most likely be you know it might be a scam so you should always consider that so yeah, i think that's just my thoughts about pre -love jigsaw. at first though, i was very hesitant to you know to pay ahead without the item yet but i was thinking like okay the price is you know it was a good price and as I checked her profile you know she looks legitimate so I did transact and I did pay her ahead of time and then thank god I wasn't scam of course because the puzzle is here so yeah I think I could say that my first pre-love transaction was pretty smooth I hope I hope I could ha I could buy another pre-love and it would you know it would go smoothly as 
just like this one um, for sure I'll be gonna be buying more pre-loved jigsaw puzzles because first you know the price is really cheaper than usual than the you know brand new puzzles and I didn't really see it as a problem you know having pre-loved jigsaw, jigsaw puzzles because I think you know the experience will be the same the satisfaction will be the same so yeah it isn't really an issue for me so I think that's all and I'm just gonna proceed with my review about bits and pieces let's go so as you can see here I have two groups of puzzle I just want to compare you know just for comparison so this one is this is the bits and pieces jigsaw puzzle this one is the knockoff your typical knockoff brand this is actually my first jigsaw puzzle this one <laughs> so yeah uh, the first thing you probably notice is how crazy the shapes are of the bits and pieces and well this one have just plain jigsaw puzzle tiles like they're almost all are identical the same while this one they have crazy shapes as you may see then the next thing that I notice also is at the back for the knock of brands they they usually have letter marks at their backs for the bits and pieces they don't have letter marks at their back as you can see so I think the advantage for the knock of brands with having the letter marks at their back is you can you can sort the pieces according to you know according to the letter marks at their back for the bits and pieces it's harder to sort the pieces because you know I find it sorting the pieces according to colors I really find it very hard so yeah I have I spent a lot of time sorting the pieces for the bits and pieces and the next thing you'd notice is the thickness of the of the puzzle pieces I don't know if you can see but if you are going to compare I think you could probably see how thin the knockoff brand is compared to you know compared to bits and pieces I hope you can see it clearly yeah that one then this one is the knockoff brand also the printing oh look at this one look how pretty the printing is this one um, it kinda looks pixelated well this one the printing looks very good so of course for quality I should always I I'd go for bits and pieces anytime like wow how crazy these shapes are I am just so excited about the shapes and the thickness as well I'm pretty sure they would fit perfectly so yeah this is your knockoff brand and this is bits and pieces I'm just gonna get the rest of the puzzle pieces and let's start doing this <laughs> So this is the design guys, I really really like it, it's very Christmassy, um, you know, it is already Christmas here in the Philippines and holiday, holiday season is starting, so I really really like it and if you can see, here are the quirky shapes, quirky pieces, which I really really like because of its peculiar looking, and yeah. So yes guys, um, my final thought about the puzzle, the quality, no question at all, I really really like the quality, um, the design, absolutely, the printing was good, um, I think the design was, you know, in season, with the Christmas season, also, um, I really really like the shapes, it is, it makes the puzzle very exciting, and 
yeah it is actually really really hard and i i actually find it very hard than i expected um but there are also some parts where i was surprised it was surprisingly easy i didn't really thought it's, it's gonna be easy but it was actually i i think the hard part was finding some openings because of the you know crazy shapes it's really hard to look for openings but once you found the openings it's really really easy to go from there but yeah i think i finished it for almost i'd say 15 hours i don't know but not straight like i'd stop and then continue anyway guys yeah that's it um yeah i i really really like this puzzle i am definitely recommending bits and pieces the quality is very good although um i think my one issue about the shapes being quirky is that it doesn't really hold the puzzle pieces together that strong so you know i can't even lift it up i can't i can't lift it <laughs> so yeah modern, that's the i think that's the only thing i found it you know bad not i mean so yeah guys that's it for that's it for today guys i hope you enjoy this video if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and i'll see you next tuesday bye i actually really like this view bye